Welcome back to Cars Experts, where we usually talk all things automotive. But today, we're shifting gears and flying into the skies with a machine that's not on the road, but in the air, the 2025 tuple of TU-144. Yes, you heard that right. The legendary Soviet supersonic jet, often dubbed the Konkordsky, is making a dramatic comeback, and it's more advanced, more efficient, and more ambitious than ever before. Now, the original TU-144 was born out of the Cold War race for supremacy in the skies. First flown in 1968, it was the world's first commercial supersonic transport aircraft, even beating the Concorde to its maiden flight. But while it reached impressive speeds of over Mach 2, it was plagued by reliability issues, noise, and economic impracticalities. After only 55 passenger flights, the TU-144 was grounded and faded into history, until now. Fast forward to 2025, and we're witnessing an unexpected resurrection of this engineering marvel. Russia's United Aircraft Corporation, in collaboration with modern aerospace firms, has unveiled a fully reimagined TU-144 that blends the legacy of supersonic speed with 21st century technology. This isn't just a revival, it's a complete reinvention. Let's start with the design. The 2025 TU-144 still has that distinctive sleek, delta wing silhouette, but it's been heavily modified for better aerodynamics and fuel efficiency. The nose cone, which used to droop for better pilot visibility during takeoff and landing, now features an advanced digital vision system, eliminating the need for mechanical movement. The fuselage is constructed with next-generation composite materials, making it lighter and more durable than its predecessor. Inside, the cabin is nothing like the cramped quarters of the old Soviet era. This time, luxury meets innovation. Think wide reclining seats, personalized climate zones, noise-canceling panels, and panoramic virtual windows that display real-time visuals from outside or even immersive views of space. It's designed to cater to high-end business travelers and elite passengers who value time over cost. Under the skin, the biggest leap comes from the engine technology. The 2025 TU-144 is powered by hybrid turbine engines designed to meet modern emission and noise regulations. These engines not only reduce the sonic boom impact but also promise 30% greater fuel efficiency compared to the original model. This makes the new TU-144 more sustainable and commercially viable. Cruising at Mach 1.8, the new TU-144 can fly from Moscow to New York in under 5 hours. That's nearly half the time of current long-haul jets. With advancements in supersonic flight paths and regulatory agreements underway, this could mark a new era in intercontinental travel. But the rebirth of the TU-144 isn't just about speed. It's a statement, a symbol of technological pride, innovation, and a glimpse into the future of commercial aviation. It shows that what was once considered too ambitious or flawed can be reimagined with the right vision and tools. The project has also reignited interest in supersonic travel worldwide. Competing efforts from Boom Supersonic in the US and other aerospace giants show that the race for faster than sound travel is back on, but this time with a focus on sustainability and commercial feasibility. So, what does this mean for the future of transportation? We may soon live in a world where you could leave London after breakfast and land in Tokyo by lunch. While tickets will certainly be expensive at first, just like electric vehicles or smartphones, supersonic travel could eventually become accessible to more people as the technology scales. The 2025 tuple of TU-144 isn't just a nod to the past, it's a bold leap into the future. A blend of history and high-tech engineering that proves no dream is ever really dead. It just needs the right moment to soar again. Thanks for watching Cars Experts. Don't forget to drop your thoughts in the comments below. Would you fly on the new 2-144? We'll catch you in the next video. Safe travels, whether on four wheels or at 60,000 feet.